Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. My name is Fizz. Uh, today is going to be a little bit of an interesting video because I have seen that people don't know how to use a certain mod, which we have used a lot of times for certain things, but uh, I highly recommend not to overdo it, which is called Simple Spawners. Now, if you know our, this is my server. This is my uh, open free server that anyone can play on on Steam. Uh, you can join link description down below. I'm going to showcase and show how to add spawns with it and also how you add the eggs because there's a mod that just got released that we're using on our server and there is no spawn regions here to add through i and i which that's what we've done throughout the entire server is we have i and i it's uh, the crystal creatures from the late the old liquefied creatures and stuff we have i and i those to spawn because we don't need this but this is a great example of when this mod does shine is when a zone does not have any spawn regions in it at all so Let's get right started. Everything will be in the description down below that you need. Let's go. All right, so before we start, the two mods I'm going to be referencing in this video is called Crystal Isles Dino Edition. Like I said in the beginning, it adds all the creatures back two crystal isles that were taken out from wild card the liquefied creatures even some other new creatures like the crystal rock drakes this is what we're going to be working on because this is kind of new and unique and it also adds a bunch of other new things check that out link description down below it's uh same person that made uh helped crystal isles and also does steampunk so fantastic modder go check them out we're also going to be checking a look at simple spawners we've used simple spawners in the past now simple spawners is a fantastic mod but there's a point where it's a little bit too much. If you put too much spawners on your map, your map will start chugging in its performance and you'll have lots of bugs with it. So I highly recommend using it very minimum as possible. I suggest learning how to I and I code. Uh, it's very simple and easy as soon as you learn actually how to do it. And what that means is basically adding spawns to the map. Uh, but this is a great example that I wanted to showcase this mod because a lot of people are going to be using this now. Um, Simple Spawner has a bunch of new, cool, unique things that you can do. So if we open the UI menu for this, right, we have a bunch of different things we're going to do. We're just going to focus on two things. We're going to focus on custom spawners, which is down here. We're going to also focus on nests. Now, nests are basically, you can make them basically do anything. Uh, like for instance if i put a rock drake here and then i say the nest to take that correlation to that rock drake that's basically what's going to do so i'm going to showcase that but this is a great example like i was saying this zone this zone right here has zero spawn regions in it because wildcard took the entire rock drake code out but never added anything back in so what we're going to do is we're going to make this place the rock drake's heaven and sanctuary you would say and we're going to add a bunch of things i'm going to add a max 10 nests for rock tricks and three spawners with a max probably of like i don't know five or six of each one and i'm going to explain each one of those things so let's first start off with the custom simple spawner all right so i'm going to find just a kind of simplized uh circular area which i think like right about here's a good spot now um people will not see this thing uh for say they it, when they render this area the zone they will immediately uh see this little purple dot blinking uh but when they get close enough they'll basically disappear but they will no matter what see this but this is our custom simple spawner settings and we're just gonna open it up it's got a bunch of different things so first off you want to open um the steampunks um the web page and you want to grab the uh rock drake so i'm gonna put that in the description down below but this is the rock drake code that you'll copy and paste so see how it has uh it has the cheat spawn tame anchor we don't want any of that so we can just get rid of that um and then basically want to go all the way to this side and we just want to get rid of the numbers get rid of that and we want to hit add now this adds crystal rock drakes okay so what we want to do is before we start anything we want to uncheck this we want to hit apply we want to make sure nothing's spawning yet because we want to make sure it's perfectly set so we're going to click on rock drakes. Now we're going to go down to here. Do you want creatures tameable? Absolutely not, because we're adding eggs. If you enable this, they'll be able to be tamed their default way. Or if you have like a mod like immersive taming, you can immersive tame them that way as well. We don't we are not doing that on our server. We're going to have them specifically only eggs. So we're going to make sure that they have that. Uh, we're going to have the level range between 20 and 200. Now on our server, uh, we have our max level is 200, so I'm going to do that. I know Rock Jake specifically would spawn higher, but we have something called a jump server on my server. 
Uh, so that's why I'm not making them higher than they are because people will be able to get better rock tricks anyways on those servers So I'm just making it minimum as that and then what we want to do is make sure we check this um, Creatures will spawn at level increments according to the server difficulty settings blah 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 that basically This is just allowing it to not spawn Example it won't spawn at uh, 21 22 it'll spawn at like 20 like 40 it'll be spawning intervals that are, are perfect um, this is a spawn radius. So what you can do is you can make this bigger or lower I highly recommend making it smaller in the beginning hit apply you want to um, Want to hit uh, where is it? Where's the freaking thing to show it? Uh, but allow roaming um, Why can I not see it? Well, anyways, oh, I know how you can see it. you hold here um, Nope, I don't remember. I don't remember how you show it uh, there's a way to show it, but anyways, it, it doesn't really matter. I was just gonna do four um, And now the respawn timers and stuff. All right, so So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this respawn timer So we're gonna respawn them about every 60 minutes just to make sure servers not lagging uh, Their despawn timer is gonna be roughly about I don't know if I really want to add one Do we want to add a respawn timer a despawn timer? It should be fine because they're gonna be stuck at a max of like whatever uh, spawn chance 100% so they're gonna be 100% spawn baby chance now on our server We actually do have a baby mod, so I'm gonna make it about 40% uh, they have a 40% chance to be a baby because that will give it some livelihood in this area And now last but not least how many creatures do we want total so creatures per respawn so every time uh, There's a spawn rechance that's gonna spawn four automatically We're gonna make this down to three and I'm gonna change this to about six So there's gonna be six max one of these in this area. So now we hit apply hit save okay we make sure all those settings were saved we go reopening it right here and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna enable spawner so now we're gonna hit apply again and now you can see it's glowing and now we're gonna do this force creature spawn and there you go there's your creatures now we can do this again we want to hit uh for testing purposes i'm gonna just make this 10 for for you guys 10 10 hit it enter hit apply force respawn so there you go. I'm gonna make myself invisible so they don't see me And there they go just like rock tricks now you have a bunch of rock tricks usually they'll spawn anywhere uh, Over here and stuff which I'm gonna fix that right now. So how to fix that is we need to um, First of all, we need to destroy creatures and we're going to make this a little bit bigger We're gonna make it about eight time eight times bigger now. And we're gonna hit four spawn Still not big enough. Hey, oh, there's a baby one. Hey, isn't that so cute and adorable? They're actually, I don't mind these rock drakes too much. Wow, they're all babies. Holy crap. 40% to have a baby. Okay, let's make it 10% now because that's way too much apparently. <laughs> you just gotta fool around with the stuff if you really gotta. All right, there we go. There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. Um, I could fix this a little bit more, which I'm going to. We're gonna make this a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go to 10 radius. Okay, I'm gonna hit save. We're gonna destroy creatures again. Hit save again. Four spawns. There we go. That's what I like to see. There's some over here now. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. So there you go. That's how you set up a simple spawner for creatures. Now let's set up the egg one. So let's go play some eggs, and I'll show you real quickly how this works. All right. So I'm gonna show you show you one of these spawners because you can copy and paste these settings with the gun and everything, or in this UI thing. But most of the time, it's not even that hard to do. So you first off, you place it down. You wait for it to load the server settings. But there we go. Open it up. Now we have this beautiful new UI. So what we want to do first of all is scan the area. So we want to see what's in the area. So. As a moment, we have an aberrant sacro and crystal rock tricks. When I select this, we want to make sure that this is selected. Uh, you want to come over here, mainly creature selected. You want to check this and click on this. You want to make sure that that is clicked because that is the only thing that this thing is going to uh, produce an egg. So we want to make sure it's only that, okay? Show scan radius. We don't really need to do that. How, number of eggs. I highly recommend only one egg per nest. I, I think that's reasonable. Um, nest quality or style. So we're going to do change it to rock trade because that's what it needs to be. Scan intervals. We can just leave that at 16. Basically what that means is within that 16 time radius area of the circle it's going to scan one of those rock drakes randomly and it's going to make that rock drake into an egg and we're going to redo the respawn to make sure it's not too op we're going to make it 90 and we're going to have it as a despawn at 80. uh the reason why you want to have it as a despawn is that because sometimes the eggs 
uh, will basically spoil there and they'll just say there if people don't have it. So you want to make sure they do have a spoil timer. And there we go. Uh, there's a crystallized rock drake egg. And let's now uh, let's save that. Make sure it's 100% working. So that is a level 192 egg. Damn, son. Damn, son. Now let's go find a 192 one over here. Are you any of you 192? There you go. There's your 192 one right there. So it scanned that creature right there, that rock drake, and made that one the egg. Now, the test if this is going to work, uh, let's just do this, invisible, and pick up this egg. Yup, and there you go. They all are now going to come and eat you for picking up their egg. <laughs> Alright, let's go back invisible. So yeah, that's basically it. So now, what you could do is, if you have a bunch of them up, uh, on the server what you could do is you could do something like this open the new menu uh, Which is I, I forgot to tell you guys what this was called. This is called uh, Admin cheat uh, script command simple spawner if you reopen that up again, uh, you can go down to uh, The map and it'll basically bring up all the customized eggs and stuff that you have on your server So right now we just have the custom simple spawner which I forgot to change the name Which is a good thing to always have so if we come back over here. I definitely Definitely rock Drake spawn Always definitely add those up because if you add too many then you'll go now I'm gonna say this right now once again the mod is not too bad But you need to make sure you don't add too many of everything Okay, I've had this in the past where if you have too many the server performance will basically tank I kind of recommend what I'm going to be doing is probably like 10 max nests and like three spawners of max of like maybe like six people six creatures in each all right that's kind of the max i would recommend for this because i don't want you guys server to crash and have server performance because this, this mod is very demanding so please be aware of that but yeah that's kind of it i mean uh let me uh finish this up now and then i'll show you guys what it looks like at the end all righty and with that ladies and gentlemen i am officially done i have timers on all these new nests they're basically completely functional now and they're just doing it on their own thing um, and uh, I'm in spectate mode so I can see these when I'm in spectate mode um, Because it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I have basically nests everywhere They're all on super duper random timers that one needs to be fixed, but that's okay. That's a quick easy fix uh, And uh, we have some more rock tricks over here. This they're just basically all over the place random uh, Right now I have it as the max spawn of each one ten just to show you an example of how the the spawns could be then I'm going to adjust them back down to what I want them to be. But um, that's kind of it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and follow. And tell me what you guys um, what you guys think. Because, uh, you know, it's, um, it's, uh, it's a nice mod. Just don't go too crazy in adding them. And if you wanted to do this to the uh, other creatures from the Crystal Isles mod, you can do so. Like the Magnosaurs, which I don't know if I'll do that on my server. Because uh, we, we're going to have Genesis anyway. So I might just add them to Genesis. But... Link in the description down below for all the information. If you have any questions, I can try and help you out. Thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.